everybody and welcome back to part two of my three-part series with Adobe Stock for Start With Stock. My name is Elise Swopes. In the last part of our series, we went over how to use stock from start to finish to create a composite image. And it was really fun. We created a, a silhouette of the city skyline. And for this part, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside and use our own imagery in part with Adobe Stock to upgrade it and really turn it into a nice piece of art. I know you're ready, so come along, let's go. When I'm exploring the city, I'm looking to capture scenes with enough negative space to play with. This negative space can be above, in the middle, or below a frame. But what's most important is capturing different angles for more options. Having a clean lens is the base for a focused and detailed photo. But capturing vertical and horizontal is absolutely key. The more photos, the better. So we're back now and we went and shot our photos and now we're going to go ahead and edit them. Open up Photoshop Mix, go ahead and add a new layer image. Go ahead and open up that photo. Just gonna move it the way it should work. Cool. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go and look for the Adobe stock image that I want to add. So I'm gonna add a waterfall. Waterfall, maybe Niagara works mostly. Just want to make sure that the perspective we're using is going to work for the photo. So let's go ahead and see if we can save a preview of a few. Good work. Huh. Let's do a cutout. Subtract. Refine the edges a little bit. Z. This looks like it could very well work. So let's give this one a go. Go ahead and add new layer, stock. And then you'll notice that it's updated the imagery after we bought it. The nice part about a foggy day is that we can add a nice cloud layer easily. Go ahead and go into the Adobe Stock database. Cloud. Maybe we can even add a bird, say so. So let's add image, stock imagery, eagle. We have a lot of seagulls here in Chicago. Isolated, this will allow for just having one seagull in the photo without having all the extra stuff around. Resize, so now you'll notice there's a white background around it, so it's easy as a nice little cutout. Subtract. And now you see we've got our cutout bird and uh, no more white background. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. I think the composition would be a little better, but I think we're pretty much done. Thanks so much. And in part three, I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes of how I create product shots. We're gonna use Adobe Stock to create advertising for Instagram. I'll see you then, bye.